Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on my experience with the Sony A6500. Now, you may have noticed I've got the uh, 70 to 200 F4G piece of glass mounted on it right now, which does dwarf uh, the A6500 a little bit, but just wait until you eventually see that uh, G Master 100 to 400 that I'm waiting on for the end of the summer. But today, because uh, that's July 31st, I believe the ship date, at least when I pre-ordered it. Uh, but today's video is all about the firmware update. This is something that I've addressed with the A9. It's come to the A6500, the A6300, and of course the A7R Mark II uh, and A7S Mark II. But uh, in terms of what this brand new update, which is 1.03, the latest firmware update brings to the A6500, is that of course it does add support for the 100 to 400 mil lens that I just mentioned because they know you've got great autofocus here over 425 points of phase detection, uh, 11 frames per second. Uh, maximum uh, performance on this in terms of the drive for that autofocus, uh, which I'm really excited about seeing how that performs. Uh, but it also uh, optimizes the five axis image stabilization in movie mode, which is something that some users reported issues with um, malfunctioning errors. So Sony, uh, you know, also uh, bringing attention to that. In addition, it also uh, is claimed to have improved the operation of the uh, left side of the um, touchscreen when it comes to uh, the Play Memory Store, and that's because many people, including subscribers like you watching now, commented that it's ironic that the touchscreen doesn't work in the Play Memory application uh, store. And, you know, as I've always mentioned in reviewing Sony's DI products, Sony listens. And this is proof of exactly that. So they've addressed that. Uh, it also improves the overall stability of the camera, which hopefully every firmware update does, right? I mean, if it doesn't, then please don't give us the firmware. And uh, last but not least, it also uh, attempts to correct a condition where the camera by um, accident will actually power uh, well, will not power on after certain settings have been altered. So uh, those are the key things. Also, heat tolerance. Uh, this seems to be the, you know, the standard of what this entire update has been about for all of uh, Sony's cameras in this mass update that they've done to at least what I believe Sony's DI uh, department considers uh, the current crop of cameras in their uh, lineup. So again, the A6500, the A6300, the A7R Mark II, A7S Mark II, A9, all getting firmware that is also directed at heat dissipation. Now, when I say dissipation, it doesn't get rid of the heat, but it increases the heat tolerance. And run times, uh, especially on the video side, are definitely seeing a major improvement out of this firmware update. I will include a link in the description uh, to follow for those of you watching that do want to update your firmware uh, to 1.03. Again, that is the latest edition. It will be the U.S. site. Uh, I'm not here to walk you through on installation, but it's fairly simple. It's just a matter of setting the camera's USB mode to mass storage and then, you know, opening the EXE file that you've downloaded and following the on-screen instructions. It should only take a matter of minutes. That's what it's taken for me on all the cameras that I've updated recently. But this is a big firmware update uh, in many ways for the entire lineup. And just again reaffirms that Sony stands behind their products, not just the A9, but all of them. This also, though, is, you know, a bit telling as to what has happened to the first gen of full frame uh, mirrorless interchangeable lens cameras, the A7, A7R, not seeing this update. So for those of you sitting with those models, this is kind of, uh, or it literally is Sony making it clear that they are no longer going to be pushing out uh, firmware updates for those cameras. So if you've invested your money here in the later gen, Sony's reminding you they're still supporting you, and they should be. But that pretty much rounds out today's video. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.